Relax. You ready? Go yeah. Okay. Hey, hey. Hi. Happy Friday. Happy. Or in my world, Tuesday or Monday or Sunday. Or March. Yeah. Who even knows what day or month it is? Right. I have an itch. That's why I keep poking yeah. this. Right. So if you watch the national news and you don't live in Minnesota, <laughs> you will have noticed that they talked about Snowmageddon that was coming that actually never really came. But my kids didn't have school a week, you know, just in case. Just in case. Just in case it might snow, which felt very like Nashville, like a Nashville Austin choice. <laughs> so for all my friends that live there and tell me about like when they get school canceled because they got like a quarter inch of snow, that is the equivalent of what's happening here in Minneapolis, but just with 10 inches, which as I said to my mom this morning, like 10 inches, come on. That's like child's play. Yes, that is yeah. the hearty Minnesota. We're yes. like, we only got 20 inches. Yes. What are we talking about? Get outside. I know, but now it's cold. Freezing. Freezing, and so we said, what better way to spend your day <laughs> on a cold day than by taking off your pants and putting them to the jeans? Yeah. Why, why else wouldn't you want to do that? I, I want to do it. I want to do it too. I mean, I did it. I mean, the real reason is because today is last day of our denim goes free event. Last so, day. Last day. Today only. Last. It's Done. It's over. So it's in store only. How does it work? All right. So you're gonna bring in a pair of jeans. One, two, twelve pairs of jeans. Yeah whatever that looks like for you. Dig through, quickly organize the closet, pull out whatever you're not wearing. And here's some things that I would say you're not wearing. Try them on first. Yeah. If you're pulling them, they feel weird. You're just like, I don't even know what I'm wearing with them. Yeah. Chuck them, don't save them. Why save them? Yeah. Get rid of it because we got so many good new styles in so store. So you bring it into a store. Sure. Yep, and? And then you hand it to our stylists. Cause I don't see in a minute. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. fun, exciting live today. <laughs> And they're going to help you find an amazing pair of jeans to replace them. And then you get what? $15 off for every pair. Every, every pair. pair. Every pair of jeans you buy, 15 bucks off if you trade it in with an old pair. So it's so a must. Okay. It's a must do. And you're giving back. Yeah. It's recycling. Yeah. yeah. So let's get rid of the ones that don't fit. Let's get rid of the ones that we wished we might fit, but we're not going to. Just abandon it. Do you really want that pair of jeans in your closet that you look at and you're like, oh, if I, was, if I like weigh five pounds less or... Back when I was like running a lot, I could wear those, and now I can't. Like nobody needs that reminder. That just makes you feel crummy. Put in a pair of jeans in yeah. your closet, makes you feel good. I also have like some jeans in my closet where I'm like, so when I go to um, a happy hour, yes, for specifically for margaritas, and I'm gonna wear this one shoe with my pet. You know, it's not like that one shirt or the one pair of jeans yeah. that you have a very specific event that's never gonna happen in your life, but they're your standing only jeans. You're like, I'm just gonna hold on. Yeah, yeah. standing only jeans. No. Yeah, no, that is no. so 2018. Yeah, we're done. Standing we right are. Here. We are into, however, yummy, stretchy, yes. sitting, squatting, squatting, picking up kids. Yep, putting on your snow boots. Gathering up the things that are <laughs> on the stairs that you left on the stairs for someone else to pick up, but nobody did. Yeah. Does that happen? In your house? Um, happened last night. Yep, yep, there it is. Yep. Oh, the first, there's the so those shoes. So I'm going to pick it up myself. And here's what it looks like I'm going to put it under my arm and I'm going to go <laughs> up the stairs <laughs> and I'm going to put it away. Yep. I'm going to put it away. And my jeans, me, but and my cute jeans, jeans. cuz these are the best jeans. So, let's talk about them. Yes. This is a tried and true best selling jeans. Yes. That we're betting. You kind of forgot about them because they're that good. So, this is you guys, we are wearing our Riley A Goldie Riley cropped jeans. So, this is that amazing jean that's like okay, if you've been thinking like can I wear skinnies in anymore? Can I do skinnies? I don't think I want to do skinnies yeah. anymore, but wide legs might scare me just a little bit. What am I getting? This amazing slim straight. This is the crop version. Fits so many body types. And I don't know if you realize we're wearing the same, same jean. jean. Same, same jean. jean. Different bodies. How's it? What size? I'm wearing a size 30. Your normal size? This is my normal, normal size, size. And it yeah. feels really good. Yeah. The waist is not pulling in. Feels fitted. But one thing I love about A Goldie is as you wear them, they start to relax. Mm -hmm. Yes, the same way. totally. And like yummy, gummy mold to relax. Oh my gosh, so so, so soft. So good. But also gives us the look of like a vintage, you know, silhouette vibe on the fabric. Yeah, I have higher rise. Yep. Definitely right here's my belly button. Here's my my uh, weirdly high belly button. Yes. How tall are you? Tell us the people. <laughs> I am five four, with over. Oh, we're supposed oh to yeah. yeah. So I would say five four <laughs> with a five foot, like lower half. Short legs, long torso. So I am definitely more petite in my legs. Yeah, and I am short waisted. I am five eight, um, and definitely have a lot of curves and strong yeah. lower half. Okay, let's show the butt. Oh, 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 oh! 
Hey, Grant. That's my husband. <laughs> Happy Friday. Did I bring these home? <laughs> I tell my kids, both my husband and I have, you know, what we like to say in our house, strong, strong, strong butts. We've always told our kids, like, be proud, but you will always be yes. able to skate. Yes. You're going to be able to climb a lot. Run. Right? Run. There's a lot of power back here. So you, you can also pick up those items on the stairs. <laughs> yeah, they are easy. Slots, again, <laughs> so the Riley love this guy. There's yeah. a couple of options in the still let's talk about the alternate. Yeah. Back. All right. So true. This is the, the style Heidi and I are wearing. This is the Riley high rise straight crop. And I think I just want to really remind you this is straight. And I think there's so much beauty with it straight yeah. because the footwear options are endless. How, how are you wearing yours? So, options? I mean, we were talking, we're like, okay, it's really cold, but spring is coming. And we wanted to talk about this fur because this is mm -hmm. hands down one of our best selling shoes right now. I was talking to someone last week. Actually, I'll tell you who it was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call her out. I was talking to Mel last week. She's like, I don't own a pair of Burks. And I almost fell off my chair <laughs> because this is the only shoe I wear pretty much nine months out of the year. And then frankly, there's only three months in this morning in my house. <laughs> but I love a good Burke, super comfy. What's so fun about this is if you don't like that chunkier Burke yeah. look, which I get that double buckle, it gets a little big. This is such a nice alternative gang, a little bit slimmer profile in this one. You still get that really cool big buckle. And this kind of aged brown leather ends up going with so many things. I wear with black, I wear with neutrals, and it's just a really fun one to wear with my straights. So super I like nice. showing a little bit for my petite frame, I like showing a little bit more skin so that I don't feel all swallowed up. Or the denim, like yeah, it's getting exactly. Cool. Yep, and I'm just wearing a P440 sneaker, but I think a straight leg denim. You have so many footwear options, yeah. and when these other ladies come out, you can see some other footwear that they have paired with that we still can do with the Riley. And what we love about this is showing the ankle. Yeah, with the always, shoe. always. Yeah. I think I one of my style tips whenever I work with anybody is when you show the wrist, and you show the ankle, those are the two smallest parts of your body. It just helps really elongate either the arm or the torso or the leg. So always just a really good tip to be exposing them. Okay. All right, so for our taller gals, these are Riley um, straight. This is kind of like that, this is the long version. So for any of you who are 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 six foot, you're gonna get the same effect that's maybe hitting on Heidi right now. Cause I know sometimes with the Riley and a straight leg, you just need a little bit more length. So this is the Riley Long. This is something new we introduced in 2022. Amazing for all you long leg gals yeah. because sometimes the Riley can just run it just a tiny bit shorter. This would be great. I it would be great. It would swallow me. Yeah. yeah. And it would definitely it make you do a cup. Yeah. 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 So just a regular. Yeah. And then another easy little straight crop, which I think is like their true silhouette and this really beautiful denim is um, just the, the same version we have, just in a darker wash, which again goes great back for work. Yes. Um, kind of for date night, but. And I would say the lighter wash can feel like a little bit of a dare when it comes to denim, yeah. right? It takes yeah. like a minute to adjust the eyes. So if you're looking for something that feels a little bit vintage, but isn't as light of a wash, I think this is a really nice option. Yeah, yeah. Really flattering. All okay. right. And then this is back to the crop that both Heidi and I were so, wearing. Which has a ton of stretch. And I think that's the beautiful thing about a lot of the Wileys is there's just hidden stretch to yeah. all of them. So, but still look vintage and cool. Yeah. All right. All right. We have our first yes. guest, Vanna, number one, coming on down up. the road. This might be a familiar face to all of you. Come on in, Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Starting the show. Yes. All right. So we have three guests. Stacy is our first guest, yeah. and I think all of you have a little bit of like these denim questions, denim hurdles that yeah. you're yep. trying to yeah solve for. So for and sure. Like what better kind of mm -hmm. software than during the event? Exactly. So I, because I have them all, because I love denim, and it's, anybody that comes to the store knows it's true. it's true, I do. So I'm always looking for new and fresh and fun and different, um, which we have a lot of, yes. which is super exciting. And I think it's so fun because there is so much out there in denim right now too. Yeah. So I love that. So um, what I'm wearing is feels super fresh, feels new, feels different. Um, it's the Good American Palazzo. I love, I love it because it just kind of creates a little new shape that I don't have in my closet right now. A um, little wider leg, but still like a bit, still fitted enough that I feel like I'm not losing. Can you talk my about shape? like the actual like fabrication of this? Yeah. Thing? So so stretchy, yeah. so comfortable. Yeah. Like I mean, I you guys like I can do all the things in this. Like I'm working in this all day, like moving, yeah. grabbing all the things, doing all the things. So it's 
super, super comfortable for super adults. But I think it's polished. I think it's yes. um, it, it's a little more um, elevated. I feel yeah. like, you know, like just wearing on just a little too close, fun jewelry, little heel makes me feel like I'm put together. Yes. Yeah. Like I'm just like a little more elevated than my normal like jeans. Jean t and the difference between a palazzo and a flare. So yeah, um, yeah, this is like a little fuller leg throughout yeah. the whole yeah. the whole body. Like as you can kind of see, like I mean, I'm I'm, yeah. I'm like uh, pretty much almost to the ground. Like there's a yeah. lot of a lot of fabric here. There's not in a flare. I think it's you're getting a little, a little more fit. Like yeah. you're getting yeah. a little right. It's usually tighter through here for a yeah. flare, where this is kind of like the break and the release of the jean is happening a little bit. Yeah. yeah, and it feels um, that's what I think feels fresh about it. Yes, yes. something yes. different. And, Heel, heel friendly. I mean, I'm five seven ish, so not I mean pretty easy. Yeah, but not super tall. Um, so I think anybody can rock this lots of look. Totally, mm -hmm. Agreed. including petite. So yeah. I think this is to me this is the answer to the challenge of how to wear a flare when you're petite, because dang it, when you have that flare, you mm -hmm. lose so much of the shape. So the palazzo or the trouser is a really good option for petites because, as Stacy said, that shape goes straight all the way down. So when you chop off a couple inches, it frankly doesn't matter right. because you're still holding the shape yeah. of yep. the leg. Totally. And I love this with the heel. It also is super cute with the mm -hmm. leg. Yeah. You want to go like, oh, that to me feels like a little yeah. bit more like, yeah, casual, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Totally. like totally. Like channeling. Yeah. yeah, super fun. I know. Yeah. And I think, you guys, I think what's really fun is look at Stacy, this fun wide leg, but look at Stacy's shape through her okay. hips. Her yeah, waist, through the like way. incredible, just like yeah, it's like gonna cinch you in a little, yes. so you feel like you're still keeping a little shape. Yeah. Just, you know, when you're curvy too, you don't want to feel like you're just right. Yeah. Okay, so right. Yep. So it, it feels really comfortable. Feels great. It's a nice high rise. Good market. Yeah. Love it. Okay, okay the alt to this jean. The alt to this jean. If this feels like a little too much of a deer, is our amazing every trouser. Um, this is the new wash that we got in for spring. Stacy, you are on the floor. Yeah. Tell us why you love bringing this to your customer. This is a, this is um, to your point a great alternative. It's a, it's probably a little less in the legs, so I feel like if you're wanting to tiptoe into that look, but you're feeling like whoa, is this going to wear me? This jean is definitely um, a little bit easier to do that with. It's an awesome wash. It's great. It's a great length. So for yes. anybody yeah. that wants a full length, I think it's awesome too because you really are getting full length coverage. It's not cropped. It's yep. not short, it's awesome, it's easy, it's comfortable, it's stretchy, mm -hmm. it's a nice rise, like it's a higher rise, but it's not, I mean, yeah. it's, it's super, like whether you've yeah. got a longer torso or a little bit shorter waisted, it works for okay. you. Um, it is really just a tried and true, easy, polished. This is another one where I feel like you can do anything with this, you can style it casual or you can wear it forward. I call so this like way. the home run jean. It is. Yes. It I, really I, is. I literally don't think yeah. I've ever seen anyone put that it's, in hasn't fallen off. It's so flattering. Yeah. Right. And yes. it's so comfortable. The fabrication so, yeah. is so yummy. Yeah. And if you guys look, what's happening here is similar to Stacy's. All this really cool distress, distressing is happening at the top portion of the jeans. So if you do need to hem it, you're not competing with any washes on the bottom. It smells like, oh, she cropped her jeans. Yes. So, no, it's, it's really it's, smart. Yeah, super, super good. Super good with the try for sure. Awesome. Okay. So Good American. Stacy's coming back. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So and fun. She's the Good American All right. Because I'm not pulling it way up 
it you know, rises an issue for me and for many petite gals who are, or not petite gals, yeah. who have yeah. that short yes. rise. Yep. And so this has been great for that body type. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. I want to point out one thing um, with Lisa being petite and what she did with the footwear here, which was super smart. Back to what Heidi said, it's showing a little bit of skin, whether it's the ankle or in the foot. Just so it doesn't look like the jean is swallowing you or too long for you, we paired this back to an easy little slide. So we're just getting the top of the foot for Lisa and also getting that like really strong wide leg silhouette paired back to a little bit shorter um, sweatshirt. Or she just, this actually just looks like you pulled it up just a little bit to elongate the leg. So it's super cute. Another petite friendly option about this jean, rock them. Yeah. So easy, easy, easy. Chop it off. Although, yeah. what did you say? And I think you got to say at least because this is so true for all of us who are vertically challenged. So they asked if I had issues with length in pants, for any pants that fit me in the length. And that is never an issue for me because I have an amazing tailor. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I will buy any pant in yes. the store. I will buy that palazzo that yes. Stacey had yes. on. I will buy any pant in the store. I love that. Because my tailor will make it perfect. She'll give me that original hem. Yep. And with the raw hems, um, we did that um, how to oil, yeah. on every TV. And so I'll just cut those right up. Yeah. And yeah. if you want to check that out, it's right on every TV on every.com. You can see exactly step by step how to do it. Yeah. yeah. I think perfect. that's really important because I think sometimes we allow our bodies to dictate what we're going to buy when there's something we really want to love. When I get it, it's one extra step. It's another, like, a little bit of money into one pair of jeans. But if there's something you really love, I love that it's for tailoring it to you, for you to love it the way you want to. It's so it's the so investment smart. jean, right? Pick yeah. the jean that you know you're going to wear again and again. It's so worth yeah. the time and energy. Okay, so what's that other good petite? All right, another really amazing little petite um, option. This is the, another A Goldie yeah. option. Um, this is the Parker Easy Straight Jean. Katie, you wore this wore last this. week, two weeks ago? Okay, two weeks ago. And so you want to tell us a little bit about yeah, it? Yeah, so here, like, here are the differences, right? So this guy does not have stretch. Okay, that's the number one like note I would tell you, right? And this one does, and Lisa went down an entire full size, correct? Yes. Yeah. yeah, and this one I went down a size. Yeah. And this yeah. one I wore my true size. Yes, yeah. so true size in this one, I treat this jean more like a boyfriend jean. Like it's meant to feel a little bit more relaxed, inherently a little bit more casual, it doesn't need to be like your like serious going to work jean. I want this to be my knock around jean, but what's yep. great about it for petites is the length game. So definitely, definitely a crop length. And this one has that fun vintage wash in it. Yep. And I have found that even in our denim that doesn't have stretch when it comes to a goldie, you wear it a couple times, do not wash them. Keep wearing them, don't wash them. Just go a little bit of ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> little, little spot clean. Nobody needs to know. Let them mold to your body. You will forever love these, but you just need to break them in a couple times, and then they will mold to your body. Yeah. And I think the Parker as well, correct me if I'm wrong, yes. isn't as high as a rise either. Yes. So also, a little bit more of a mid-rise. Yeah, so. lower rise than the Riley, which again is why I feel like it's almost that kind of boyfriend spirit. Yeah. Yeah. But for those of us that are petite, that boyfriend jeans sometimes can be kind of overwhelming. So it's a nice alternative to that when you need, I just call it my Saturday night round jean. Yep. Like that jean you just put on, you put on with a sweatshirt, you're a graph of tea, and you're running out the door. It's easier to wear really good. Yeah. And the sweatshirt better is so cute. I know. I love that it's like casual, but that there's something really strong. I know. Yeah. And it's, the color is so great. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Okay. All right. Okay. Be back. It's be back. back. <laughs> All right. Come on, Cheryl. You beautiful, long legs. I mean, legs for days. I almost feel a little bit ridiculous sitting next to Cheryl, but we're going to embrace it because can we just talk about the hip differential here? I could just slide in Cheryl's thigh and that's where I fit. So, <laughs> but I mean, they both have incredible legs. Let's okay, so let's talk about it though. No, you're tall. I you got some serious legs. Well, like I'm tall and I do have yeah. some heels. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> But, so, so what's your challenge? When you're looking for denim, what do you find to be tricky? What's the thing you're always keeping your eye out for? Oh, yeah, which is, which, yeah, definitely length. Yeah, and so now with all these flares and boot cuts, you know, yeah. they're very long. Yeah, so yes. it's lovely. It's been so great. It's a tall girl season. It's, yes, it's yeah, it's finally. Very yes, tall girl comes <laughs> and I made their leg. Oh, you must know. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I do know, you yes. know, that I'm so calm because, you know, there's finally some long jeans. Yes, to wear with that. Yeah. yeah. So, so I love it and I will, you know, I'm embracing it. I love okay, it. So this jean. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is 
Go ahead, Carol. I oh, I am the, uh, the AG, um, Vera Boot. Yeah, and this is actually a gene that AGs have their, yeah. their mind for quite a while. We actually, I was taking a stroll down memory lane this week and was looking at some really old Facebook live videos that Ash and I did back in the day. And this is a gene we've had before. We have. Hmm. And now it's back. Yeah. And there's a reason that a good gene never goes away. Yeah. Right? I think, it's, yes. And I think what's really fun about these genes is almost like in comparison to Satan's too. If you notice, she is wearing like the slim boot cut. So one thing that's going to happen different from the boot cut than a wide leg is it's staying really slim on Cheryl through the knee and then just slightly releasing. And I love how you have this style. So it's hitting you at the ankle. You're going to get back to this fun little like. Um, trend driven, little loafer, and maybe on Chinese this is going to fit more true full length. Yeah, I just love how relaxed your entire look is with this. Can you talk to us a little bit about these new group cuts? Um, why, like, what are you pairing back to footwear, being somebody who's a little bit taller? What is your go to pairing? I guess yeah. that's I mean, I guess depending on how they feel about their height. Because, you know, yeah, true. Are, like, you know, don't really love the look, you know, yes. the height. Um, so, you know, we have great, you know, the sandals and all those yeah, kind of little slides. Just the little yeah. slide would be great to have on. Um, you know, your kids. Yeah, yeah, it's so fun. Yeah. And yeah. now that it's very fun. So, and sneakers. I mean, I think the point you made that's interesting is so that this jean on me would most likely be quite full length. Yes. So I'm going to treat this little crop flare like a full length flare on a petite body. And if I want to give myself more height, especially when someone petite is wearing more of a flare or a, a, like a jean that hits the bottom, this is when I lean into a heel. I like a little flare or a kick flare with yes. a flat shoe when I can see my ankle. Yes. But when I can't, that's when I think a little bit of height really, really helps. And all of a sudden my legs go from being this long to this long. The beauty of being tall is you get to like, choose your own adventure. All of it works. Yeah. And what you feel comfortable with. I love that yeah. you pointed out that yes. not everybody that's comfortable when they're taller to wear something with a little bit of lift yeah. right. or to wear something with a heel to fit, you know, like am I extending the height yes. a little bit more or are you afraid? Exactly. Yeah. What's another option we have in the back? Another option? Very, very similar. This is from Paige. This is the high rise ankle flare. So intentionally to kind of fit at the ankle, but still giving the same idea as. What Cheryl has on, a little brighter blue, still with that raw hem, so I think still being able to speak to the teeth as needed to be. But one thing I wanted to ask, since Lisa pointed something out, being taller, and knowing this is a high rise, does rise impact you when you're finding denim being a little bit taller? Um, for yeah, for high rise. High rise, definitely. Um, and you know, to my age, I like it, you know, high rise just to, you know, help. Hold all the things Hold in. Hold yep. all the things yep. in. And then, um, yeah, the mid rise is just too low. It ends up almost being like a low. It just, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and a low. Yeah, <laughs> we're, not gonna, we're not going lower. Yeah. We're not going to talk about it. I don't know. We're not going to talk about it. Until so we have to talk about it. Yeah, until we have to talk about it. Yeah, until we have to talk about it. Yeah, until we have to talk about it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, one thing about Cheryl's jean is we have this is that big boot cut, but this also, the Farah, comes in a really great straight leg. And that, to me, when I've been working on the floor, is my go to for taller women because it has a nice long length and very nice. So they want to know more about Cheryl's shoes. Oh, because they're the adorable. The most amazing. Talk to us, Cheryl. Why do you love them? Why do you like them? Um, actually, you know, when I first put them on, I was like, hmm, I don't know. But they're... <laughs> I love and them. Then, and then what we do? We no, like... But they're really comfortable. So this yeah. is just why. You know, yeah. Yeah. Try you do. Yes. Kind of, you know, live with them. Yeah. And, yeah. And yeah. that moment, you know, and see. Uh, they're really comfortable. Really comfortable. Yeah. And I they don't see that. It's like a really nice way, I think. But we're gonna go with it. It's a little, it's a nice way to give a little extra height. Yep. In a shoe that's comfortable, it's not a heel. Yep. Right. Many of us are still trying to figure out how the heck we're gonna get these feet into heels again if they're not wearing them for many, many years. Yes. Right. So this right. is a really nice yep. way to get a little bit of height and it's really comfortable. Yeah. You could for sure wear this on the floor outside. Oh, for sure. Right. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. So these are by Dolce Vita, you guys. And then I love that it's just a little bit more of an off-white comparing back to a lot of different tops on that foot. Because also for me. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it also an easier way to wear that platform when it's not so heavy. I mean, I think a good black loafer is so fun, but a black yeah. loafer platform can be a lot. So to wear something that's a little bit lighter in color, it doesn't feel like such a standout piece in your yeah. loafer. Yeah. 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 Bring that to the crew. The crew's coming back in. 